Hello and welcome to episode one of unboxing West German stamps, uh, Deutsche Bundespost. So these are small lots which I've been buying uh, from eBay, mainly to get the mini sheets. But uh, I still have plenty of holes to fill in my individual stamp collection. I'll start with the mini sheets first, because they take up a lot of real estate. I can get them out of the way. Here's a nice set of uh, famous people. Looks like from 1969. And here's another mini sheet. Looks like Nobel Prize winners for possibly literature from 78, I believe. Here's one I've seen before. I definitely have this one. Um, 1974. Let's look at this large sheet. This one's really, really neat. Four separate stamps. Uh, looks like 100 euro Deutschland. So this is going to be uh, reunification. Uh, 1997. I really like the lips one. It's really bold. I think that's it for sheets, so let's start looking at individual stamps. There's a big one of what looks like some cherubs. That's a cancel to order. It's another cancel to order. <clears throat> There's one from the same set, it appears. Some of these big ones first. Here's something one about archaeology. There's one with a person and a devil. There's a lot of stamps on this set. I always check the uh, bottom of the series, the back side, because they might have a control number, which makes them worth a little bit more. Same with this series. I'll quickly look for control numbers. numbers as well. It's a nice 300. That would be transitional because it's marked in euro and marks. myself a little better. Here we have a newer one. I'm not seeing a lot of sets here. It seems to be more of just a mixture. Here's a nice high denomination. No control mark on that one either. Well, well now here we start to see a pair. Move that down. Move that up. Just got a set of three stamps there. That looks like from the same series. I like it when I have the salvage with, especially when there's markings on it. 
some more, which we'll check the back of. I see one down there with a control number. Plane. Plane. But then on this one, you can see there's a 455 control number. So that'll be worth a little bit more than the regular stamp. This one may have had a control number, but it's hard to tell. Could just be bleed through of the postmark. But why? What a nice postmark on that one. I have more of this particular stamp than I know what to do with. Very, very common. The window rows. Okay, I'm going to move these out of the window here and I'll move them back in. space. There we go. Just enough space for this lot. Well, that is a big lot with a lot of stamps. I will uh, look some of these up and uh, in a few minutes be back uh, at the end of this video with some highlights and close-ups. Thanks for sticking to the end. Here are a few of the ones I found most interesting and uh, some of their catalog values. I'm using a Michael, uh, I believe, nine, or 2018 uh, catalog. So let's see, we have here uh, a building. This is just a nice, clean uh, mint stamp uh, from 1986, uh, catalog value of uh, 140 euro. Here's a nice uh, tree. Um, I just happen to like tree stamps. So again, this one's mint and also has a catalog value of 140 euro. Here's some um, some great, uh, looks like they are microscopic pictures of microscopic organisms, I suspect. Uh, let's see, these are used and a 140 euro each. Uh, here is a high denomination definitive. Uh, this is uh, going to be the period right, right, before, right around the euro switchover because it's both in uh, marks and euros. This one has a catalog value of three euros in use condition. It's a fairly high value stamp. Here's um, a partial set from 1969. Uh, I've included this here because the 50 plus 25 semi postal here is the key stamp to the set with a catalog value of 150 euro. And finally, we have um, this definitive. Um, the whole series is uh, warning you about safety issues. Um, this one, I think, would only be worth about um, 30 euro cents if it was just the regular stamp because it has the control number on the back. Um, in this case, it's an upside-down black control number. The color does matter. Uh, it has a catalog value of uh, 1.20 euro. Thank you, and I hope to have another episode soon.